Moin and welcome. Hello and welcome. This podcast is for motivated people who want to improve their Luxembourgish vocabulary, listening skills and fluency by listening to compelling content. I'm Anne, your dedicated host and the driving force behind Luxembourgish with Anne, with a true passion for teaching my mother tongue since 2012. In this dynamic podcast, I share with you interesting short vocabulary lessons and topic conversations from level A1 to B1, and together we will build a strong foundation of the language you need to speak with confidence about everyday life topics. I also share exclusive learning strategies and insights for the Spruchentest oral exam. So join me on this exciting Luxembourgish learning journey. Bas du prat? Are you ready? Moin and welcome to this another episode. So how to say correctly what you are doing in Luxembourgish. And let's start today immediately with a translation exercise. How would you say in Luxembourgish, I am learning Luxembourgish? So hopefully you've said for I am learning Luxembourgish, ösch lehren Luxembourgish. And can you spot the difference? Well, the Luxembourgish language does not have the continuous verb form. So I am learning or he is laughing or she is cooking. This does not exist in Luxembourgish. So there is not a way for us to express that something is happening right now simply by changing the verb tense. So, for example, in English, you can say he learns and then you change it in he is learning if he's learning right now. Every time you want to say I'm learning in Luxembourgish, hold on if you catch yourself saying this. So we cannot say this. That's not correct. So it is. But don't worry, though, as many students of us make this mistake even advanced learners, and especially when it comes to describing people on a picture. So I know what to say instead, and I will show you two ways how to say I am doing something right now in Luxembourgish. By the way, if your intention is to sit the Spruchentest in the upcoming future, then note that the description of a picture is part of the oral exam. And so I invite you to listen carefully to this episode. Bas du prat? Dann lass. All right, let's set the scene. Mark is at home. He is cooking right now when in the middle of a tender situation, the phone rings. He knows he will have to answer it because it's his mum. So he would say, hi, mum. Yes, uh, I'll call you back in a second. I'm cooking. So in Luxembourg, she would say, ah, moje mum. Um, ich rufe dich gleich zurück. Ich? What will Mark say in Luxembourgish? So if you can think of one way of saying it, we have seen this at the beginning of this episode, then excellent. And if you can identify a second one, I will be impressed. Okay, so hopefully you've said for I'm cooking a kachen. But let's have um, a look at the first way how to say it even more precise. Uh, I'm cooking. So you can say ösch kache grad. So I cook right now is what we literally say when panting into the phone. Ösch kache grad. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, the continuous aspect of I'm cooking is not expressed, but simply by adding the Luxembourgish word grad. Grad. Grad translates to right now. Also, note that it would be incorrect to say ösch grad kachen, as in Luxembourgish we place the verb, so for example kachen, leeren, laven, in the second position in a main sentence. So grad has to come after the verb. Here we have the verb kachen, so ösch kache grad. You can also use another word uh, as a substitute for grad. This is a lo. Ich kachen a lo. Literally, this is I cook now. Ich kachen a lo. Okay, so you can say ich kache grad or ich kachen a lo. 
Let's practice with uh, small uh, sentences to translate. So how would you say in Luxembourgish, they are sitting on the couch? Hopefully you've said, sie sitzen um Kanapé. Donc, sie sitzen um Kanapé. Or you could have said, sie sitze grad um Kanapé. Sie sitze grad um Kanapé. Another sentence. Let's imagine that you are in the oral exam of the Sprachentest and you are about to describe a picture. And on the picture, you would like to say, the people are walking in the street. How would this be in Luxembourgish? So the people are walking is tleit trippelen oder tleit spazieren. And the whole sentence would be tleit trippelen an der Stroß oder tleit trippelen grad an der Stroß. Yeah. And a last sentence to translate, I am eating an apple. It's easy. You can say, ich esse ein Apfel oder ich esse grad ein Apfel. Just simply, ich essen an apple. Yes? Great. Now let's move on to the second option. Now Mark could also have said to his, to his mom, ich sin am gang zu kochen. Ich sin am gang zu kochen. Literally, I'm busy cooking. I'm at it. So it expresses that we are doing it now. When using am gang, or some native speaker um, at the en, at the end, don't am gangen, don't ich sin am gang, or ich sin am gangen, you need to start with the verb sin, ich sin am gang, I am busy. Then you add the verb zu before your second verb at the end of the sentence. Zum Beispiel, ich sin am gang zu kachen. Okay, ich sin am gang zu kachen, so you put zu before your second verb at the end. The so structure zu plus infinitive is pretty common and also your only choice after certain phrases. So this structure is also not far off from the English. Think of, in English, she wants to read. So this to is the zu in Luxembourgish. So you could say in Luxembourgish, hat wird lost zu Liesen. Or he has no time to cook. Is in Luxembourgish. He nur hat keine Zeit zu kochen. Okay? Great. So that were the two ways how to uh, express that you are doing something right now. But it's not finished. We will practice now with some translation exercises using the construction Ich sin am Gang zu. So that you get used to it. Yeah? Prat, dann lass. How would you say I am driving home. I am driving home. Hopefully you've said, Ich sin am gang heim zu fuhren. Ich sin am gang heim zu fuhren. So to drive home is heim fuhren. This is a separable verb. Then you put your z between the separable prefix and the stem of the verb. Therefore you have to say heim zu fuhren. Ich wiederholen. Ich sin am gang heim zu fuhren. Good. Sentence number two. I am doing the household. So, the household is the Stoot, and to say I am doing the household is Ich sin am Gang de Stoot zu machen. Ja? Ich sin am Gang de Stoot zu machen. And a last example. We are preparing dinner. This is, mir sin am gang doves iersen zu preparieren. Or you can say, mir sin am gangen doves iersen zu preparieren. Now you know how to say in Luxembourgish, I am doing something right now. It's easy, yeah? So I hope you enjoyed this episode and that you find it helpful. Now, do you have the level A2? And do you intend to sit the Sprachentest soon? And you would like to gain confidence in best describing a picture correctly? Then join one of our Sprachentest prep classes where we prepare you in just four weeks. So you will find the link in the show notes. Ich so ein Merci für den Nolausteren. Und bis nächste Woche. Adieu.